Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Tuesday night, uh, December 4th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with ratios and simplest form. So we were dealing with ratios yesterday. Today we're finding, how, we're finding out how to put the ratios in simplest form. This first one tells you to list all the factors of 6. So you, have to fix, uh, you have to list all the numbers that multiplied that make 6. Um, and here you're listing the factors of 10 all the numbers that you can multiply together that make a 10. Um, what are the common factors between 6 and 10? So you look for any numbers that repeat and you list those. And then what is the greatest common factor of 6 and 10? And you've picked the one that's the largest value. Okay, here it says write the simplified ratios in three different forms for each of the following problems. Okay, what is the ratio of stars to triangles? So you don't write, uh, you know, if it was, say that's uh, 10 and this is 20, you don't write 10 to 20. No, you have to write 10 colon 20, 10 over 20, and 10 to 20. But those aren't the actual answers. You'll have to figure those out for yourself on that uh, number one. Number two um, is the rest of this front side. And so you'll see that it says uh, Brenda had a bag of 24 marbles. There were eight red marbles, six blue marbles, and 10 yellow marbles. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 10 is 24 marbles total. So it says, what's the ratio of red marbles to yellow marbles? So there's the red marbles, there's the amount of yellow marbles. You'll write them as a ratio, but then what I would do is I'd write the ratio over here, and then I would simplify it, okay? Uh, again, write the, what's the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles? What's the ratio of blue marbles to red and yellow marbles? So you're going to have to add the amount of red marbles to the amount of yellow marbles, and that'll be red and yellow marbles compared to blue marbles, okay? But the, remember, the blue marbles come first. And then finally, it says, what is the ratio of the total number of marbles to blue marbles? So I'll do, um, I'll do this one here. Um, it says that uh, blue marbles, we have uh, eight, uh, yeah, uh, six blue marbles, and then we have uh, eight red marbles, and is like plus uh, yellow marbles, we have 10. So that's uh, 6 to 10, 8 plus 10 is 18. Okay, well, I know that um, the greatest common factor between 6 and 18 is 6, so I can divide top and bottom by 6. That's the biggest number that fits into 6 and 18. How do I know that? Well, I can write uh, the factors of 6 are 6 equal, uh, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. The factors of 18 are uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 6, 9, and 18. Okay, well, they share 1s, 2s, threes, and sixes. The rest, uh, the 18 has a 9 and an 18, but 9 or 18 don't divide evenly into 6. So the greatest common factor then is the sixes, because that's the, the common factor that they share that's also the biggest. So I divide top and bottom by 6 over here. Uh, so 6 divided by 6 is 1. And then 18 divided by 6 is 3. So my ratio then is 1 to 3, 1 colon 3, and 1 over 3, okay? So that's in simple, simplest form, okay? That's exactly what you do on this side. On the back side, we'll go ahead and move on over there. Just one moment. Okay, and on this side we have teddy bears. Um, Kate makes teddy bears. Each bear needs eyes. Two eyes, one nose, three buttons. Two eyes, one nose, three buttons. Okay, fill in the missing numbers on this table. So you're going to figure out if you have uh, two teddy bears, how many noses will you have? Well, each teddy bear has one nose, so then in theory you should have two noses. Okay, you're going to continue this. Um, if you have five teddy bears, how many eyes are you going to have? If you have 10 teddy bears, how many buttons are you going to have? And then if you know you have 24 eyes, how many teddy bears do you have? And from there, you should be able to figure out how many noses and how many buttons you have. OK, 
Okay, it's pretty straightforward. This is a third grade standard, so you guys are in seventh grade, you should be able to do it fine. Uh, the second one says here, Kate has 26 teddy bear eyes. Uh, so think about how many teddy bears that is. Uh, 11 noses, uh, how many teddy bears would that be? And 24 buttons, and think how many teddy bears that would be. Um, how many teddy bears she, can she make? Well, she can make whatever is the least amount of teddy bears that she's able to make with any one of these. So say she could make 20 teddy bears with that, that many eyes, uh, 10 teddy bears with that many noses, and 5 teddy bears with that many buttons. Well, the most teddy bears she could make would be 5 then, but that's not the answer to this problem. You have to figure that out on your own. Then explain how you decided, okay? So you write that out in English sentences, okay? Good night. Good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!